if you didn't already know, Sean Payne has officially been named the head coach of the Broncos. Now we can't forget that the Broncos fired Nathaniel Hackett before the season was already over after he had that 4-11 start. And Nathaniel Hackett was supposed to be the answer for Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson left Seattle because he wanted to do his own thing. He wanted to throw the ball. He said he wanted to win MVPs. And as we all know, Russell Wilson absolutely shit the bad did absolutely terrible the whole broncos offense was terrible even though they had a stellar defense they still couldn't win games the broncos brought in russell wilson they extended his contract before the season even started making him the second highest paid player in the nfl and then buddy just couldn't see the field there was open players all season which russell wilson would just miss and he didn't like he was playing like his old self he just didn't look the same in, in, a, in a broncos uniform i'm gonna hire the coaching staff there's gonna be a certain method of, of of how we practice and how we prepare it almost seems like sean payton is going into denver with a, a level of no bullshit i'm not gonna take any of it and we're gonna work and he's talked a lot about how he's not gonna let russell wilson do his own thing he's not gonna let russell wilson take charge which is it's kind of funny because the whole reason russell wilson escaped Pete carroll and went over with nathaniel hackett was because he wanted to do his own thing so all that brings up the question do the seahawks just have a really good system it kind of looks like it because geno smith now and they made the playoffs that it looks like russell wilson wasn't as good as he was maybe we'll see in the next upcoming years if he can still perform not in seattle this whole situation is just bizarre the broncos bring in russell wilson pay him a ton of money and then they extend his contract before the season even starts and pay him even more money and with a stellar defense and a few offensive weapons russell wilson just couldn't get it done it's really weird he went from being one of the best of all time to shitting the bed as bad as he did maybe it was because he didn't have that structure maybe it's because he didn't have that run first offensive plan that he wanted to get away from in seattle and throw the ball a ton in denver and put up big numbers which he obviously couldn't so the Broncos bring in Russell Wilson they make him the second highest paid player in the NFL and it's crazy that Russell Wilson like a lot of people's top 10 quarterbacks list I saw Russell Wilson in a few go back and look some people ranked Russell Wilson in the top 10 best quarterbacks of all time it's just bizarre that a quarterback can go from that rating to missing wide open touchdowns right in front of his face now it brings up the question do you guys think that Russell Wilson has a chance of being a top 10 quarterback again and retaining his status in people's rankings and of the top 10 greatest quarterbacks of all time I honestly don't think so. I think you'd take a lot. He needs to, first off, he needs to win some games, make the playoffs with Denver, and then maybe win a ring. There's also just so much rising talent right now. It's going to be hard for Russell Wilson to retain that status if he wants it. So with Denver having the second highest paid NFL player, and then he ends up shooting the bed, they then bring in Sean Payton and make him the highest paid head coach. Sean Payton is set to make $18 million per year for five years. <laughs> That's a bizarre amount of money. The Broncos now have the highest paid head coach and the second highest paid NFL player. They're just, they're handing out money. To me, the situation feels like they brought in Russell Wilson, they gave him a fuck ton of money, they thought that Russell Wilson was gonna be him and lead them to a Super Bowl. And then before the season even started, they made the mistake of giving Russell Wilson even more money. And then they were locked in with Russell Wilson. There was no going back after they extended his contract before the season even fucking started. Now Russell Wilson has a terrible season. The Broncos have a terrible season. Everyone's calling Russell so Wilson washed and he's not good anymore and the Broncos had management or like we gotta fix this situation what are we gonna do let's bring in Sean Payton and pay him a fuck ton of money anything to get Sean Payton he can fix this situation so it's just gonna be another year for the Broncos last year was ooh Russell Wilson Broncos are they gonna be good they, they're gonna be good right and then now next year it's just gonna be the same thing Sean Payton the Broncos are gonna be good right if the Broncos don't work out it's gonna be quite embarrassing so there's a lot of pressure on the broncos right now and that doesn't really help the team either so i would say i wouldn't want to be a broncos fan or be on the broncos team with sean payton the broncos aren't just handing out money they also had to hand out some picks they dished out to the saints their first round pick of this year and their second round pick of next year and only received a third round pick of next year and of course sean payton now we can't forget for russell wilson the broncos also handed out a ton of players and picks they handed out drew lock shelby harris noah font to the seahawks and they also gave the seahawks five draft picks the broncos handed the seahawks a first and second round pick in 2022 and 2023 so just to look at this in perspective the broncos in 2022 gave up a first and a second round pick for russell wilson now in 2023 they gave up two first round picks and a second round pick 
for Sean Payton and Russell Wilson, and in 2024, they also gave up another second round pick. That's a lot of picks and a lot of money. The Broncos are all in. The Broncos have given up all, a ton of their money and three first round picks and three second round picks for these two guys. If it doesn't work out, it's gonna be quite embarrassing. Maybe one of the biggest fails of all time. Now back to Sean Payton talking about how he's not going to let shit slide in Denver now. He has a lot of team rebuilding to do as well. We saw multiple disagreements between Broncos players throughout this season. That one I believe happened on Christmas Day against the Rams when they got destroyed by Baker Mayfield. And it also didn't help that Denver players found out that Russell Wilson had his own private office and private parking space at the Broncos offices and the Broncos players were not happy about that and I don't blame them Russ's teammates are probably already pissed off at Russ they're like he's making all this fucking money and he can't find me over the middle of the field for a touchdown and he has his own office and own parking space why does he have that this season was probably the worst season for any quarterback in NFL history. Russell Wilson started off, he lost to Seattle, in Seattle, and in that game, he threw a pass straight to a Seattle defender. End zone shot, and near Who is bro throwing it to? He had all the time in the world, and it gets even worse. Apparently, throughout the season, Russell Wilson's teammates would yell at him from the sideline because Russell Wilson was confusing on offense and do things like wrong plays and use audibles from Seattle. He, I don't know if he just didn't work with his team, but he kept trying to run his he kept trying to run his own shit. And obviously he was able to do that with a Daniel Hackett, but that just doesn't work. It sounds like Russ developed quite a bit of an ego on his way to Denver and just in Seattle as Marshawn Lynch and Richard Sherman, old teammates, clowned on Russ on a podcast together saying you couldn't reach him. You you were unable to approach him. He was kind of an asshole, and the only way you if you want to talk to him, the only way you could get to him was through his assistant or manager and even Pete Carroll got in on the shit talking he talked his shit about Russell Wilson he said Russell Wilson refused to wear an armband and that pissed him off and there was like no communication between them Pete Carroll said that when Russell Wilson went out to run a play Pete Carroll had zero idea what the play would be because Russell Wilson would just make the shit up now it could be a good thing I don't think it was like the worst thing in the world sometimes because Russell Wilson obviously in the Seattle offense they played well they put up points they were able to score touchdowns they won a Super Bowl together but it's got to be frustrating as a head coach. You want to have this scheme together. Maybe in games they lost, he's like, well, if he would have just followed by scheme, he would have won all the games this season instead of losing those five or whatever. On the 30-second Coach, uh, Russell Wilson had a personal coach, Jay mm -hmm. Keeps, in the building with access who wasn't on the staff. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with that. All right, how do you feel about um, players having their own people off the staff in the building access to the players? Yeah, that's foreign to me that that's not going to take place here our staff will be here our players will be here and that'll be it it's going to be interesting to see if sean payton will be able to bring this fallen broken shattered broncos team back together and get the team not to hate russell wilson if players hate russell wilson it's going to hinder their ability to play together it's going to take a lot and russell wilson is also going to step up if the attitude he has shown recently is true and just the i'm doing my own thing or you guys listen to me or talk to my assistant if that's all true he's gonna need to change his attitude on the field and with his team because that's not gonna help his team whatsoever and that's not gonna help his team like him anymore because his team already hates him a lot to have your own office and parking spaces he had multiple parking spaces as a teammate i'd be pretty pissed off and sean payne has mentioned multiple times i'm gonna hire the coaching staff there's no if you're not a coaching staff or a player you're not gonna be in the facility because apparently russell wilson has had just like personal coaches or just personal trainers just be able to be in the facility with them all the time sean payton is going out there and he said he said i'm gonna put in law and order which is good i feel like that's what maybe russell wilson was missing maybe he picked up this huge ass ego and he thought i can just do it all myself i'm just gonna go to denver and win a super bowl there and put up more numbers and do my own thing when that's not how it works in the nfl you need a team yes the quarterback's the most important position but you need a team to work together for play calling everything if i was a broncos player right now i'd be very excited the team's gonna be held accountable russell wilson is gonna be held accountable he's gonna be held to the same standard as the rest of the team champagne has said we're gonna have certain times to practice a way we practice a way we show up a way we prepare 
Pair. That's not what the Broncos had last year. It didn't seem like they really had a leader. It doesn't seem like Russell Wilson is really a leader. It sounds like Russell Wilson is just a player that does his own thing and everyone else works hard, but he shows up and is just ass. He's like the coach's son on the fucking team. It's going to be interesting to see how this pans out. Maybe Russell Wilson's going to start throwing fits and baby tantrum because he doesn't have his two parking spaces. And that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed my content, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And once again, thanks for watching. Also, let me know what you think in the comments.